Howdy everyone, how's it going? My name is Woken Jr. Welcome back to some more Ark Survival of Evolved. You guys will notice I'm actually in tech armor and I'm surrounded by tech stuff. What is going on, guys? It's been a while since I've actually done anything on this channel here for you guys, but that's because I've been busy. And I've actually been working on some stuff. I'm actually working on a different server that um, I've been playing on. This is the XO Dice servers. We are deep underwater here. Um, basically... We are at the edge of the map, everyone. Um, but the server is highly boosted. We've lost some things. Um, some people have died and everything. But we're working on other things. Um, basically, we got a whole bunch of things up and going here. Um, got a lot of stuff going. This ba the server is very highly boosted, so you guys can basically hop on here have a metal base within just seconds because you can basically do this type slash kit i have no more kits except for a starter kit i have one left but um basically you get one base kits two farming kits and two starter kits um i've only used one of my starter kits and here we are everyone we got day i got deodons already up and going um We've lost one of my deodons. I think it was my original. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, hey, there's some of my heavy turrets. I was wondering where those were. But we got defenses going on here. We got no water creatures. I lost all my water creatures. I actually did have a base previous to this one. And um, I had to relocate just because of some people that were attacking me and everything. But let's turn up the gamma so we can try and see what's going on here. But I basically got all these turrets on my base here. I got a total of like 200 and something here. Um, yeah, two, th or 300, my bad. 367 turrets in total on this base, surrounding it completely. I didn't put any turrets on the back because of that. We are literally right up against the edge border and edge border. We are at the corner of the world, basically. Can't go any further that way. Can't go any further that way. We can only go that way or that way or up. Which I don't plan on going up at all just because of the fact that, um, well, everything is everywhere. And this, like I said, the server is highly boosted. There's a lot of people usually on it. And it's a cross arc server, so we can transfer to. Aberration, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, and the Island, basically. Um, but there's a lot of people on every single server, usually. About this time of day, um, not too many people are on. But that's okay. Um, I've been working on getting Rexes up and going, so I can go do another boss fight. Uh, I lost all of my Rexes when I went to go do the Brood Mother on the Island. Because um, I was trying to do the stuff over there, so I can go do Ascension. Um, as as you guys can tell, we have two other tribe members in here. We got Connor, who is a friend from Exiles, as well as Bree, who is Bob. He is Bob Ross on. I know of him as of him. He is also part of Exiles. Um, the Exiles tribe has actually practically died just because um, Nerd Parade channels are actually going all over to Patreon and we don't really want to pay patreon anymore to be able to play on his servers it tells us that he's getting desperate for the money to be donated to him so that way he can stay that way um but basically if you want if he knew that he wasn't going to be able to stay up that long and be able to have public servers then he should never quit his day job i don't plan on quitting my day job even if i get this thing up and going i plan on staying doing my day job um i because it's something that I love to do. Um, I got some breeder rexes here. I got no eggs going yet because I've been trying to organize my dinos. Um, we kind of rebuilt this. We made this one. This is all new here. Um, I built this last late last night. Um, this was my original thing. I had this f completely full of rexes and everything. Uh, I got two rock columns. The one is for um, my mining and stuff so he's got a lot of carry weight that's how I get most of my stone and then this is my soaker dude which I need to give him some stone which I think I'm out of stone honestly 
Um, but I do have sulfur, I do believe. So I can give him that. Um, the server's got S plus on it. it. Comes in handy. Really, really handy, I do have to say. Um, all structures into rock elementals. Transfer. There you guys go. Eat up on that. Eat up, buddy. Um, but we've been I've been grinding out a lot of stuff going on here um, got a whole bunch of gunpowder being made up charcoal being cooked um, let's transfer all this charcoal over this makes it so much easier to do this because then I can just do that and boom it's all transferred into the chem benches and it'll create gunpowder I need to go for another chit and run to go get some more cementing paste because I've been building stuff like crazy um, especially the tech compartments they take 120 uh polymer each which therefore i'm just i'm and the server you can't have auto breeding on so therefore you can't um have a poly farm basically so i decided that i'm going to just basically make up a whole bunch of poly myself make it a lot easier um so therefore that's why I have a lot of obsidian. We're going to move my gunpowder over now. Because I have a whole bunch over the chemistry bench. There we go. Transferred all of that over. So it should be making the ammo for me now. Um, and then I have an auto genie. Which makes life a lot easier for the um, turrets to be filled. So I can transfer all that over there. Then I can go over here. So I have my turret genie placed all the way over here in the center of my bases, pretty much. Uh, we basically go in here and fill the turrets, and it'll fill them all up. And it'll place all the bullets into my turrets. Um, I'm not exactly certain. I've been grinding away on bullets, um, but it's a lot to fill up 367 turrets with a lot of ammo. Um, so basically right now they only got one stack in each of them almost 300 bullets in each turret but there's 367 turrets here it's crazy um full stack of 2.0s are 300 um but yeah and i'm planning on building little towers on top of these guys here boom boom put turrets on them as well so that way everything is heavily defended um i need to move this stuff around I was in the middle of doing that. Uh, where's my demo gun? All structures, all dinos. Demo. Demo gun. Personal inventory. Transfer. Oh, I grabbed three of them. Oh well. That is fine. Grab one out. And we'll continue moving this stuff around. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on what is going on with... Uh, this channel basically oops I did not mean to remove that one luckily I got some more turrets in my inventory whoopsies I did not mean to do that um, yeah so we'll leave that there for a second um, whoops definitely did not mean to do that put that away thank you uh, talking too much wasn't paying attention um, but I do have two more heavies on me at least but basically we've been I've been grinding away on this server for about five days now um, it makes it quite easy to be able to get stuff up and going and everything um, which charts was it? it was these ones so we'll turn that one on and put those bullets in there go down here grab these bullets and grab them did not mean to do that but like I said, if you guys want to join, you can. Um, if you guys go to Battle Matrix and search up, um, basically, Exo Dice, it'll bring all the servers up. I'm I'm playing on the center server just because I I like the center server and he has it where the element is boosted, so you get like 2k element almost um, out of each boss fight that you do. <clears throat> I think it's 2k, it's or 1k and 215 or something like that. You get a lot of element out of it. It makes it a lot really worth doing instead of 
you know, three or not even three hundred, not even a hundred element out of doing a boss fight, um, which they do plan, I do believe, in the future upgrading the element on the center, just in general, because a lot of people don't play on the center server anymore just because of the fact that the element is low like that. Um, Basically, it makes it hard for anyone to do anything tech-wise on the center. So if you got like a server that is based on tech on here, you're not going to get very much for it. You might as well just be like, okay, I'm not going to do the center server anymore. <clears throat> and sorry, I'm losing my voice for some reason. But uh, this this is another mod that makes things a lot easier. Oops, I did not mean to transfer him there. I do not need to transfer you there. I need to transfer you, Rexco, here. So you can appear right in front of me. Out of the mesh. There we go. Maybe we can move you a lot easier. You're a male, right? Yes. And I, I was working on this, and my Rexes died because they ended up drowning because the place kept flooding, and I was trying to figure out what was going on with it. But I gotta basically restart my breeding line, um, so that's why I'm looking for the females here, so that way I can put the females where they need to be. Here we go. Here's another female. I got four females in total. Um, can I please see? Thank you. I basically darkened this this building out so that way if people are swimming by, they don't see that. Oh, hey, this is a Rex pen or they can't see where my generators are here or anything like that um so we'll hit you up we'll take the saddle off you there we go i don't like the s plus hitch thing doing that because then it tells people if they're anywhere near <clears throat> that hey yo there's a base right here follow me and basically it leads you, them to here but that's okay so this is one of the last female rexes and then i can start breeding them and getting my rex line going again um, these guys are not very high leveled which i'm not too happy about it but basically i forgot to grab this out but basically it is what it is um but i'm planning on taking in at least a female into the boss fights so that way they get their boost but plan on taking mostly males with me um or after I think after this because I got four females and one male breeding um, basically I'm going to <clears throat> excuse me I haven't really lose my voice today but basically going to set things up have breeding get a whole bunch of eggs again because I, I had started out with a whole bunch of eggs I think I still have a whole bunch of eggs but I'd rather just be prepared nonetheless to lose a lot of Rexes and I'm going to be building a little hiding hole for some of my eggs so that way they're not all in one place basically so that way if I get raided I'm not losing all of those things um, but this place is massive it's 100 on each level of um, of compartment tanks. So there's 1, 2, 3, 400 compartment tanks on each building here. So I got a lot, a lot going on. I keep forgetting to grab the Rex saddle. Why do I keep forgetting it? I have no clue. But let's go ahead and re-grab it. Um, but I am getting my Ar Rex army back up and going, which I'm happy about. Because I did have like 20 Rexes. And I ended up losing 19 of them. Or well, 19 of them to boss fight. And then the rest to the uh, drowning. Because I had more than 20 of course. But I had 20 Rexes that I was going to take into a boss fight. And I lost all 20 of them. Um, the only thing that sucks about the compartments. Is you got to make sure you don't have them standing on the lines. Of the compartments just because they act like they're sinking let's see um, you gotta make sure that they're not on it or they'll continue to dip down into the water basically and then they can get attacked by the um, jellyfish yeah jellyfish but yeah thought I'd let you guys know that's what is going on with the exiles like I said they're 
the server for Nerd Parade is practically dead. I don't know if they'll be trans if some of them will want to transfer over here. I know some of them have transferred to different servers. Um, I don't plan on joining most of them. Um, if anything else, I'll probably if like uh, Jordan Strawberry they move over to a different server, I might join them. But anyone else, not really, just for the fact that I don't know too many of them or too much about any of them, basically. But. We got all these guys moved over. I wanted to get, show you guys actually my Rex egg. Um, I pretty much went overboard with breeding because I got three hatcheries going um, and they all filled up pretty much. So we will enable wandering on all these guys. There we go. Oh wait, no, no. I want to disable your wandering real quick. Cause I want to show you guys something that is part of. You need to move. That is part of S plus. That I definitely think is interesting. Really cool. Um, let me go grab them really quickly. Do do do. Saving of the server. Uh, but the server does have a point system, basically. So you receive five points every 15 minutes. Um, I have 210 points left right now. But uh, not where I wanted to go. This is what I wanted to do. Um, where's my elements? Okay, guys, where's my element at? I think I put it in a dino somewhere. No. Hmm. Weird. Only have a thousand element left. I pulled that out of here. Okay, something's up. Where'd all my element go? I had a whole lot. There we go. Alrighty, I found it. Don't know where I was hiding at, but I found it. Put that back in there. So now let's show you guys what I definitely do enjoy of the S plus stuff. It's gonna be these right here. They are called S plus mutators. And they give it where you can get mutations on dinos a lot easier. So we'll go over here. We'll place these down. Let's place them down right here. So we'll place them down on this wall. And it takes 10 elements each time to activate it. And you can have up to 10 activated to um, basically mutate them. There we go. So now we can do this and this. Then we'll go over here after that launches. Then we can go over and enable wandering now. And now they'll basically get two times mutations. That's how I was actually able to get this off white right here on this Rex, which is pretty cool. Um, but basically, this guy he, here, he's leveled up. This is one after full imprint imprinting of 100%. This is his health afterwards, his melee. Um, I don't put carry weight in these guys just because they're us fight Rexes. Um, but these guys, they're breeding up. So they'll drop, once they drop their eggs, they'll put them in here. Um, and then I'll go grab them and we'll hatch them and see what kind of eggs we get. So we will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So I decided while I was waiting that I was going to go really quick farm up some metal. This is actually a really good place to get metal because it's all along the mountainside here. Freaking get a lot of metal out of this, a lot of crystal, um, which I don't really need. A, which I don't really need a lot of crystal right now. So I'm trying to go and try and avoid hitting the crystal nodes as much as possible. But I'm going to try and hit all the metal nodes here around this area as well as possibly try and get some flint as well by hitting the stone so that way I can get some more spark powder up and going um, I will probably go for a chit and run here soon show off my make theory he's got high speed and 
hell of melee pretty much when it comes to bugs. Um, but so going to farm up here, probably do a time lapse here for you guys so that way you guys can see the pretty much of what I do when I go mining. Um, I've practically I built this whole base up by myself. Um, I didn't get any help from anyone. Um, this is actually pretty much, I started this off solo. Um, I was by myself from the beginning. Moved up to having Connor and Bob join me. And then, they they only joined last night after I had finished building my Rex pen area. Pretty much. Um, so, oh, go away, Sabres. No one wants you guys. But, like I said, I'm going to do a time lapse here. So, Enjoy. Deep within the core of the forest can be heard and hear a spirit song sealed from long before. Now awaken to the power, the essence of our souls The song fills the void of a forest, black and cold Hard to see, hard to breathe, that is too much for the score We are sinking in the dark while the woods are all around All the roads we can't the same, leaving memories behind The song fills the void of a forest, black and cold Hard to see, hard to breathe, that is too much for the score We are sinking in the dark while the woods are all around all the So we are back from our fun adventure of out mining. Got overweighted before I got slot capped, but let's see how much metal I got here. So metal. Um, we'll pull from Inky. And we'll put it into the industrial, not the grill, the forge. Transfer. We got three hundred eighty-six thousand nine hundred metal in total. That is a lot of metal, folks. Uh, well, at least for now. It's not quite as much as I'd like, but we got four of these guys a quarter of the way filled up. Um, well, maybe. Uh, 21 out of 400. That's pretty a lot. But uh, we got um, some more stone and flint we can drop into these. So we'll pull out of the Anki flint and stone. And we'll drop those into the auto chemistry bench. Uh, not as much flint as I'd like, because you pretty much need double the flint to the stone. Um, but that's okay. It'll still give us some more gunpowder to get some more advanced rifles up and going. Which, look at all those bullets already. Man, we are getting a lot of this up and going again. Like I said, I transferred from where I previously was living at. I only had like 200 something turrets on that at the time. Like 248, I think. So I've definitely grown quite a bit. So we'll fill turrets. It empties out the whole entire thing into the turrets, which is good. I definitely am glad about that. Let's go see if we have two, almost this beginning of two stacks in here now. And our Rexes should also be done breeding by now. But you see what I mean by that? If you stand them on the edges, they'll put their asses into the water. We don't want them. So I'll have to go fix that. Um, but yeah, so we got two, we got three, four hundred and eight bullets in each turret now, which is pretty good. And the turret genie does hit all the turrets all the way around. So we are good about that. 
Um, so let's basically, um, who is it that's in the hole? You are. I don't have any UD saddles right now. I lost my UD saddle in the brood mother bo boss fight. I tried to run around to avoid losing everything, but I ended up losing everything. So, but that is fine. Um, but our Rexes should be done breeding, so we should have three eggs. We should actually have four. Oh, I didn't put one of the females over here. You, I missed you. Dang it. I got my back set all on me. I thought I'd put her over there. I wasn't paying attention. Whoopsies. But let's go ahead and put her over where she needs to be. I thought I had put her over where she needed to be. She needs to be right here. So, unfortunately, oh well, um, we'll hitch her up. Um, these guys are done, so, you know what, I'm just going to split these stacks into here. And take out the five extras out of that one, and the four extra out of that one. Create the pulse, and then we will enable wandering on her, so that way she can breed. Hopefully she's close enough to the male to breed up with him. Yeah, 226. There we go. Now they're breeding up. So now we'll have four. So we'll let them breed up. Um, pretty much got everything advanced. I just need to get uh, some more polymer up and going. So that way I can get um, some more of the vacuum compartments up and going. Let's see how much do we have we have none right now over here so let's go ahead and move all my cementing paste over from the chemistry benches into the auto fabricator transfer the 167,000 of it over here and it'll start making my polymer for me so I got enough for probably four right now so we'll let that cook away um, we're going to go ahead and I guess we'll go ahead and hatch the, the eggs that are over here. Um, these three. Three eggs. Um, she should be getting closer. Yeah, she's almost done. So once she gets done, we will hatch these eggs. Alrighty guys, so we're basically just waiting for this to incubate. So we'll leave that to do its job and we'll come back to it. Let's go ahead and hatch these three eggs that I got here come over here and drop them down so make sure I don't eat them that would suck tremendously if I ate them um, no color mutations none that I can at least tell um, so it might be different mutations maybe um, well, let's go ahead and print on all these guys and let's take a look here um, starting off 10k health most of my racks should start off with that start off with that some of them usually start off with more food stamina might be a little bit more than usual um, won't be able to tell if you guys are wondering why it's hard to get one percent of the um, imprinting is because of this right here this is the nanny she pretty much imprints on dinos for me so I don't have to really do it she does it over time and increases and everything so that is good and their food will last until they get to uh, adolescence and then they'll start eating off the feeding trough so let's disable their um, wandering really quickly and let's spread them out this is a female so we'll put her over here, figure out what her mutation is later. Um, this is a male. So we'll put him over here. And we'll go check to see if our other egg is ready for us to hatch it. Um, get off of that. Thank you. Put you there. I won't leave you here. You should be fine here. You are a female. 
Alrighty, so our next egg should be ready for us to hatch it real quickly. Then that'll probably be actually all the time I have for this video today. So let's drop it down. Ooh, ooh, nice. It actually gave me a full blue color mutation. And you're a female. Cool. So I'll add in your high level 248. Nice. So I will actually have to add you to the breeder line. Sweet. We'll put that mutation to the breed line. Probably take out one of the low level ones. So these are all their base. Um, so I'll probably take out one of the 226s and replace it with her. Replace it with her and replace it with her. Yeah, the 249. We'll replace the 249 in there. Alrighty, guys. But like I said, that's actually all the time I have for today. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, go ahead and hit the like button down below. I'm going to try and do more. Um, I probably might, once the server restarts, I might do more videos on this. Um, but I have been playing another game that I'm going to be restarting for you guys. Um, so that video will be coming out soon. Um, if you guys, like I said, are enjoying these videos, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As well as the bell icon so that way you guys are notified of whenever I upload a video. I'm going to be trying to do more videos more often here, guys. Um, I just haven't had the time or the feeling to do much. And I want to show you guys my Rex eggs. These are all my Rex eggs from my previous breeders. Um, and then I got some UD eggs from my previous breeders as well, and I got teared on eggs from my previous breeders because they all drowned to death, unfortunately. Um, so did my mantis from my farming kits. Um, but I'm going to try and get my new tribe members to uh, pass along the uh, items. But if you guys don't mind also going and checking out the web page or just joining my discord channel as well um it's down below that also will notify you guys of whenever i upload new videos but thank you guys so much for joining me and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye